I colored my hair this morning. I felt, I felt good about myself. This is the week that I don't have chemotherapy, so it starts. I, I start to improve and get better. I mean, I get, I do get depressed. I do, I do feel. Oh, all the chemicals just have such an impact. So, I. And a couple of days ago, I really felt really, really bad. And so I was very sensitive about everything. I texted my daughter and I had forgotten. Um, I had forgotten. I had asked her something. I asked her something by text and um, she replied, yes. The way that she replied, I took it so personally. I was so sensitive and I felt like, gosh, she must think I'm, I'm, I'm um, a moron. <laughs> she must think I'm a moron. And she would never think that. She might laugh. And I replied, chemo brain, whoopsies, sorry. I felt that I had to reply in a way that justified it because I felt bad. I, I felt bad. And, and then my husband, there, were, there was something. I mean, I was, my husband was cooking and I was in the kitchen and, you know, he, he um, again, something happened. He said something and I, I took it the wrong way and I felt, Again, I felt like a moron. And I said, look, I'm not a moron. I'm not a, an effing moron. And then I got upset. I had to go come here, which is my little retreat in the bedroom, looking out the window, my little tiny little desk. And I wrote down, I'm not a moron. Then I thought, give my brain, give my brain, sensitivity. It's causing... Um, It's causing a memory thing, you know, memory, short-term memory. I forget things, I drop things. And I thought, I've got to rise above. I have to find a way to rise above. Rise above, rise above. And so... So maybe a tear or two, and then I thought, no, rise above. So I've written, written notes. I served her back. Then I thought, okay, I've got to come in. I've got to, I've got to, affirmations. What do I affirm? What I do is I look at myself in the mirror and I say, I love myself. I approve of myself and then I am safe because when your emotions get become really really tight you don't feel safe you feel vulnerable and that's how that's how I felt it wasn't my husband or my daughter that did it it was Everything that I'm going through with with treatment, it is grueling. It's grueling sometimes. It's grueling. Today's a good day, but those bad days are really bad. They cut. They cut. They cut. And I have to rise above. And what I can hold on to are affirmations. Meditation. It is safe for me to be joyous, to be happy. It is safe for me to receive all the joy that life has to offer. It is safe. It is safe. Then I stop being. I stop feeling vulnerable and afraid. 
When that happens, it takes you to a lonely place. It cuts, as I said, but it takes you to a very lonely place and you have to come through. Rise above. Rise above.